my name is Jacqueline Zarity. Welcome to this YouTube live. I'm going to say my name again because my name is Jacqueline Zarity. Just to remember. Okay. So today I'm going to be doing 10 ballet terms, how to do them quickly, and you're, you will hear these terms literally in every class you take, no matter what you are doing. Okay. So the first term I'm going to start off with is actually a plie, and I'm going to tell you what plie means to then. So let's do a plie in first position. How do you do a plie? Well, you're going to bend at your knees, okay? You want a nice diamond shape. You don't want to stick out. You want to keep your foot in. So ready? Let's do a plie together. So it's plie, and then up, and then plie to bend, and then up, okay? That is the first term you will encounter in a ballet class. The second term you will encounter in a ballet class is the word tendu. Now, what is a tendu? It means to stretch your foot to the fullest extent. So what you're gonna do is everybody back in your first position, arms in low fifth, and we're just gonna go tendu. That is how you do a tendu, it's a full stretch. When you are doing your tendu, you wanna brush your foot on the floor and keep on going, keep on going to you get to your fullest extent on the floor, okay? That is a tendu, okay? Then you will hear a lot of divant, Alice Cone, and derriere, okay? That's like three terms um, that I'm gonna kind of tell you. So, divant means to the front. So let's take the tendu that we just learned and we're gonna bring it to the front, which would mean Tendu, divant. See what I just did? Tendu to the front. Okay. Then we have Alice de Cone. We're going to do the same term, tendu, and bring it to the side, which will be tendu, Alice de Cone. Okay. You want to keep it in line with your hips. Okay. When you do tendu, very air, which is to the back, you're going to do a tendu. You want to keep the shape of your foot. That is very important when you go to the back. So you're going to keep the shape of your foot, keep the shape, keep the shape, and point it to the fullest extent. Don't turn it in, just keep it pointed to the fullest extent. So the terms that we really fast just went over was we did plie, which meant to bend, plie. We did tendu, which means to stretch. We did devant. We did Alice Cone. And then we did dairy air. Okay? The next terms that you encounter in a ballet class would be degage. Degage means to disengage. Okay? Now, you're not going so high when you are doing your degage. You're literally about going like that high with your foot. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go degage. It's like a tendu, because you're doing a tendu. Now you're just lifting it off the floor just a few inches. Not too high, not too low. Just off the floor, and then you're quickly bringing it back to your tendu, and then you're closing it, okay? So let's do our dégagé. So it's dégagé, dégagé, dégagé. Yes. And make sure you have a long dégagé when you do your dégagé, okay? The next term that you will do is a Fondue. So what is a fondue? Fondue means to melt. This is a very big coordination move because your arms, your legs, your plie, your releve is working all together. Okay? So when you do your fondue, it's going to be, you're going to have your foot at the surface of the plie, and you're going to go fondue, and everything is going to arrive at the same time. Poof. Okay? So let's do that. So we're going to go fondue. Everything all right. Boom. Good. Okay, I'm going to throw the arms in. So the arms are going to be fondue. Boom. Okay. Also, it means to melt. So try not to do that. Boom. The boom is just so you can feel the arriving together. So make sure you are making that smooth of a boom. You're not chopping it up. So we'll do it one time with the boom so you can get the feeling. And then I want to do two times with the keeping it smooth. Okay. So it's going to go fondue, foo. All right, so now let's try the smooth, okay? No foo, smooth. So fondue and out, okay? Yeah, okay, let's do it one more time with no foo. Fondue and out. 
Yes, so we just did a fondue devant. And if you remember, fondue meant to melt and devant meant to the front. Correct. All right, so the next term that you will do in a ballet class is you would also do a rise. So a rise is your bouncing kind of moment in class. So you're a rise up and you're going to the balls of your feet, which the balls of your feet is right here. Literally, it's a shape of a ball. Just like how your hand has that little curve, that's the balls of your feet. You also want to keep the weight on your big toe, not on your pinky. You want to keep it forward because it's easier to go forward than it is going backwards, okay? So let's rise up and let's just hold it for as long as we can, okay? So rise up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, okay. We're still holding it. Okay. Now you have to come down. And then you come down. Good. Alrighty. So the next term that you will hear is port de bras. What is port de bras? It's the carriage of your arms, okay? You want to carry your arms. You don't want your arms to just have a mind of its own. Okay? Because your arms are helping you with the movement, you want to be able to carry them throughout the dance. So, when they say carriage of arms, they're really telling you are, let's carry them together. So we're going to carry them to first, we're going to carry them to second, we're going to carry them to high fifth, we're going to carry them to second, we're going to carry them back to low fifth. Now, that's carrying your arms. Not carrying your arms, you would just be like this. So you want to carry them because you want to have life to them, okay? So we went over plie, which means to bend. Let's do a plie together. We went over tendu, which means to stretch. We went through devant. We went through alice cone. We went through derriere. We went through fondue. We went through degage. We went through relevé. And then we also went through bras, carrying your arms throughout the whole time. Now our last term, final term, is called saute. So you most likely will never leave a ballet class without doing a jump combination, literally. Okay, so a saute is literally, we'll do it in first position. It's literally, we're gonna use our plie that we've been doing. So it's gonna be a plie, up and down. That is literally a saute. So plie, saute, yes. Your feet are peeling off the floor and pointing. Do not flex your feet in the air. You want them pointed. So when you come back down, you're going like that. You're not going here. You're going down, going up, going down. Okay, let's do four sautés together. Here we go. Sauté, 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 yes. All right, so my name is Jacqueline Darity. We just went over the 10 turns that you will hear in a ballet class. I post everything, music, violin, piano, and also dance and ballet. Check out JacquelineDarty.com for more information because I always put a lot of information there. And then also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I love posting videos and doing fun dance stuff. Much love. See you soon. Bye.